exercise 2 resolve each following vectors into its horizontal and vertical components so before we start we must know how to use the trigo formula first okay so as you have learned during the secondary school where uh, if this is the theta given okay so the beside we call it adjacent after all the x component so the opposite side we call it y component okay y component is the vertical component okay so if let's say you want to uh, write you want to find the sine theta so sine theta is equals to sine theta is equals to the opposite okay so opposite over your hypotenuse okay or we can write it as y over your hypotenuse okay so hypotenuse let's say we write it as the result okay the magnitude if you want to find cost the equation for cost is adjacent over hypotenuse okay so adjacent is x over r r is the hypotenuse okay tangent theta equation is equals to your opposite over adjacent or we can write as y over x okay so let us start questions number one so they give you the magnitude for the displacement is 100 meter so they ask you to resolve it into x and also y component okay so we can draw a triangle so meaning that it's moving to the we can resolve it into right and it is moving upward okay so this is your xx this is your sy Okay, so xx is equals to xx is actually adjacent. Okay, so we can write as uh, cos theta equals to sx over 100. 100 is your hypotenuse, uh, the magnitude is 100. Okay, so if we write, we want to find sx, so meaning that your sx will equal to 100 cos. 30 degree okay okay how about sy so your sy is opposite okay so opposite is sine theta so sine theta equals to sy over your hypotenuse 100 so therefore your sy you can write it as 100 sine 30 degree x the value that you will get for xx is you will get 86.60 unit we follow back meter okay because it's given meter and your sy you will get 50 meter okay okay next question is b they give you the initial velocity u 40 meter per second at the angle of 50 degree okay so usually uh, we will find the angle is near to the x exit. So I prefer I use 40 degree. Okay, so 40 degree. This is x exit and this is your y exit So this is your ui. This is your ux So again, if you follow back just now you, If you want to find ux, you can straight away write 40 Because it's adjacent so it's cos 40 okay so you will get answer 30.64 follow back the unit meter per second and your ui we can write 40 because it's the angle is opposite sine 40 okay so you will get answer 25.71 meter per second okay so this is question number two okay so some student ask me teacher if let's say i want to use uh, 50 50 degree can or not of course you can of course you will get the same answer so if let's say i want to use 50 degree meaning that your y is moving up and x is to the right okay so i will use this angle 50 Okay, so if let's say ux, ux, this is your ux. Okay, so ux and the angle is opposite. So we can use 40 
but because opposite, so it's sine 50. Okay, so you will get the same answer. You will also get 30.64 meter per second. Okay, and your UY, if you refer back to this triangle, your UY here is just beside uh, adjacent to the angle. So, this one you must write 40 cos 50. Okay, of course, you will get back the same answer, 25.71 meter per second. Okay, so you will get the same answer. Okay, next one. Questions 1C. Okay, so it gives you 30 degrees, so here will be 60 degrees. Okay, so if you want to find Fx, because here they give you force is 10 newton. So Fx will equal to 10 newton. Okay, so you draw a triangle. Your triangle, your Fx is to the left and your Fy is moving upward. Okay, so we write it as because it's adjacent. So it's 10 cos 60. Okay, and remember the sign convention because force is a force is a vector quantity. So you need to consider the direction. Okay, where upward positive, downward negative, to the right positive, to the left negative. So our fx is moving to the left, so we should put, should put negative. Eh? Indicate that it is moving to the left. So finally, you will get five. Follow back the unit newton. 5, negative 5 Newton. Okay, Fy will equals to opposite, right? So we write 10 sine 60 and it's moving upward. So it is positive. Okay, so the answer is positive 8.66 Newton. Okay, so if you don't want to write positive also, never mind. Okay, I just want to let you know positive meaning that it's moving upward. Okay, question number 1D. Okay. Your SX is to the right and SY is to downward. Okay, so XX is equal to... XX is just beside uh, adjacent. So it's equal to 50 cos uh, because it's beside 10 degree. And because it's moving to the left, so we should put negative... So the answer, if you press calculator, you will get negative 49.24 unit is, oh sorry, should not be Newton, eh? actually it's in meter, okay, meter. Okay, SY, because it's displacement, eh? SY is moving downward, so it's negative 50, okay, your SY is opposite with the angle, so it's opposite, is sine 10 degree. Okay, so you will get negative 8.68 unit meter uh, because it's displacement. Okay, and last question 1E. Okay, they give you acceleration is 10 meter per second at the angle of 60 degree below the positive x exit. So your AX is to the right and your AY is moving downward. Okay, so your AX is 10 ax is just beside addition so it's cos 60 okay so it's equal to positive because it's to the right 5 meter per second square and your ay will equals to negative because it's downward 10 sine 60 degree okay so you will get negative 8.66 meter per second square. Please watch next video for next questions. Thank you.